All right, we're going to get started. I know we've got a lot of people joining in in a little bit and then also a lot of people excited for the recording. So, but I wanted to get started first um, to let you know for anyone who has not done the Ascent Diet Cleanse, it goes on sale tomorrow and we start next Monday. Um, if you have done it, but you haven't done it in the last three months, I do recommend doing a liver flush at least three to four times a year. I just did one and I have to tell you, every time I do it, it gets easier and easier. It was like a no brainer, it didn't disrupt my day. I felt great all day. And then the next morning, my energy was through the roof, even though I really hadn't eaten much in the past 48 hours. Um, it's just amazing what liver health does when you are just functioning. It's that's where your thyroid um, hormones are produced in your liver and your fat burning occurs. And we're going to get into some of that today, but I cannot stress enough the importance of doing multiple liver flushes a year, especially with what's going on right now. And they get easier. So if you have some of the supplements in the Ascent Diet Cleanse, but you just need the liver pills, you can buy just the liver flush kit and join in. Let me know, send me an email or in the group chat that you want to join the March group for the Ascent Diet Cleanse. Today is the last day that the salt, the accelerodyne, the keto are all on sale. Um, they are your tips or especially your the basic tips to enhance your benefits from your exercise what I focused on last week. And we're gonna kind of touch on that today again, because we're talking about mitochondria. And I think you're gonna start hearing about the mitochondria diet. We've heard about the paleo diet, the vegan diet, the keto diet, the low carb diet, but I think it all comes down to the mitochondria diet. And what does that mean? Well, mitochondria decreases as you age. And aging itself is a chronic disease and increases your risk for most other chronic diseases. So as you improve your mitochondrial health um, in the cells, age halts or reverses, leading to a reversal in most chronic diseases. And what is mitochondria? It is known as the powerhouse or the brain of the cell, and they're responsible for producing the energy from nutrients. Essentially, they are these little organelles that act like the digestive system, which absorbs the nutrients, breaks them down, and creates energy for the cell. Through this extensive chain reaction, which is very scientific and nerdy, I'm not going to go through it, ATP which is adenosine triphosphate, which is true cellular energy is produced. We're talking about energy outside of caffeine, outside of the monster drink, outside of the sugar you're, you're eating. Mitochondria is also responsible for determining when a cell will die through apoptosis, which is programmed cell death. That means that your body says, you know what, that cell doesn't look so hot. It's, it's cancerous or it's prone to get cancerous or diseased. We're just gonna kill it and clean it up. Now that doesn't happen when the body's sick. When the body's sick and weak, it doesn't have the energy to do that. So you need healthy mitochondria and ATP to go in and clean up the bad cells. So that a healthy body is dependent on the healthy recycling of old cells and cleaning up of those bad cells that are no longer serving the body. So what causes a decline in mitochondria? Number one, emotional stress. What can I say? Easier said than done, get rid of your stress. In, a, in today's world, it is very difficult. I've got lots of blog articles on stress management. That's through diet, through sleep, through meditation, through exercise. Last week, I went through exercise and the benefits of it, increasing DDNF in the, in the brain, how that helps with alleviating depression. So that just shows how strong exercise is as a stress reliever. So emotional stress, stress really takes a toll on your mitochondria. When you're, when you're stressed, cortisol goes up and blood sugar goes up. And as we're gonna talk about in a second, that is going to hit the mitochondria in a negative way. The second thing that causes a decline in mitochondria, 
processed food and a high carb diet. So you think, oh, well, I'm just cheating. It's not a big deal. Maybe I'm not getting the nutrients from my, my good, healthy food right now. And I'm having some high processed foods that taste really good. I don't do it very often. Well, it does severe damage to the ATP production and to um, the mitochondria health in general. So as much as you can, we wanna get rid of that. Now this one, I knew it was important, but didn't really put two and two together. If you have a suboptimal thyroid or a thyroid that is not working, it affects the mitochondria in four to five different ways, not just one. Um, it is critical to have a healthy thyroid for mitochondrial function. The resting metabolic rate, which is how much energy your cells are producing when you're not doing anything, is almost entirely determined by thyroid hormone. Thyroid hormone activates something referred to as the uncoupling protein of um, uncoupling protein three, which is a receptor on the mitochondria which stops mitochondria from self-destructing. Because of that, the thyroid prevents cell destruction of the mitochondria. It stimulates mitochondria biogenesis and stimulates mitochondria division. It, the thyroid is also essential for fatty acid metabolism of the mitochondria, let alone the thyroid's function for your metabolism overall. It's the... Um, key endocrine um, gland that rules everything going on in your body. This is why we need liver flushes because your liver hormone or your thyroid hormones get converted into active thyroid hormones in the liver. And when the liver is not functioning properly, the the thyroid isn't. When the thyroid's not functioning pop properly, then your mitochondria suffers you're not producing that ATP that we need to have that energy. So it's this huge domino effect. And next, sorry, I have an itch on my nose and it just won't go away. <laughs> um, heavy metal toxicity. So heavy metal toxicity, of course, affects the thyroid because if you don't have enough iodine in your body, especially for your thyroid, Remember, T4 and T3 stands for tyrosine and four and three molecules of iodine. If you don't have enough iodine, those receptor sites are going to get clogged with radiation and heavy metals like fluoride, bromide, chlorine. This is really important to kick out those heavy metals. Now we are bombarded with so many more heavy metals, including graphene oxide and radiation at a level that our ancestors and even our um, parents didn't even deal with 20 to 30 years ago. So heavy metal toxicity is going to severely affect our ATP production in the cells and the in the mitochondria. And if you think about the what what is ATP? ATP are those little soldiers, okay? So not only are we trying to increase the health and the strength of each soldier, but we're actually trying to increase the army. And that's what we're gonna do with the tips below that I'm gonna talk about for mitochondrial health. And then Heather's gonna come in and talk about some of her tips on the patches and on um, her devices that she has that I absolutely love and highly recommend if you're local. Okay, so number one, the accelerated keto. And why is this so important? So we talked about how sugar and, car and processed carbs are going to hit the mitochondria in a detrimental way. So the quickest way to get rid of your sugar and carb cravings is the accelerated keto and that kicks you into ketosis. That's just step number one. But when the body is running on ketones produced by the key accelerated keto, combined with that low carb diet, instead of utilizing glucose for energy, ATP production increases significantly in the mitochondria. Additionally, those uh, other cofactor ingredients in the accelerated keto breaks down the saturated fats 
into unsaturated fats. And these fats are easier for the body to utilize and easier for them to convert to ketones. So when you're exercising, the body's more readily available to burn fat for energy, increase ketones and autophagy mechanisms increase significantly, which will help the mitochondria and strengthen the ATP, increase ATP. It's also to, able to defat the liver. Well, we already touched on how important the liver is. So just as we're doing all of this, we're actually get, getting rid of fatty liver disease. We're getting rid of visceral fat around the belly, which is the most dangerous kind. And it, the more a person's liver is defatted and unclogged, the easier it is for the liver to function in all areas, including breaking down fat molecules so it can use it but also to increase that conversion from T4 to T3 in the thyroid hormone. And we touched on why the thyroid is so important for mitochondrial health. It increases metabolism, mitochondrial function, and your energy. Now, a side point on the accelerated keto, it has HMB. No other supplement does this, even the muscle building um, supplements, you go in and you'll see all these muscle powders, you know, protein powders, they have added leucine. Well, only 3% of leucine is converted into HMB. HMB is what you need to prevent muscle wasting. Accelerated Keto has HMB, which converts into acetyl-CoA and ketones while preventing that muscle wasting. And that muscle is going to hold more mitochondria and ATP. So it all, as you can see, um, works synergistically together. Additionally, the keto has something called um, MUCL, and that helps break down fats in the body and pro pro uh, provides an energy spark to burn those fat that it breaks down. So that's another just um, positive to the accelerated keto. Um, okay, so what else did we talk about we needed to address? We need to address that, that heavy metals and the toxicity. You want to detox from those heavy metals, and you can do so with the Acceleridine. The, the Acceleridine, if you forget anything else from this talk, the Acceleridine is the most important. Why? Because it helps with blood sugar. It's the iodine that kicks out those heavy metals and the radiation from the thyroid but also sufficient iodine is needed in all tissues and cells to help produce 36 ATP through the Krebs cycle compared to only two ATP when the body is iodine deficient and dependent on glucose. So it also is going to help your cravings for sugar. It helps hydrate the cells. It kicks out the heavy metals. It helps your thyroid health because it's increasing um, that T4 and T3 number, right? So it's helping your brain function, your physical performance, wound healing, fat burning, and that healthy apoptosis, which is super important for mitochondrial health. When ATP increases, energy and fat oxidation increases, um, when we're low in iodine, it's the number one predictor for depression. People feel like they have brain fog and they can't get the, their, their brain out of the fog and, and see the light. Essentially, when you have enough iodine, you are going to have this kind of aha moment. The, the brain fog lifts, the depression lifts, and you have a, a better, stronger connection to your higher self. But it also helps... Um, keep you in producing that high number of ATP. Do you realize 36 ATP versus only two? That is 18 times. When you combine that with the accelerated keto, which increases it over five times, and there's no study on this because no one has done all of these things together. And in, and in, addition, in addition to adding into a low carb diet, getting rid of the processed foods, and then also getting rid of the toxicity in our, in our um, lives. Um, just the radiation and the detox from these other two supplements that I'm gonna mention now, which is the Nuke No More. It works in conjunction with the Acceleridine. And this is the ultimate 
way to detox your body from radiation, the non-ionizing and the ionizing radiation. It's scalar frequency enhanced. And just with one or two bottles, you are zeroing out your body of all radiation. I hate to bring up what's going on right now, but Russia has taken over you, uh, Chernobyl. Chernobyl and that nuclear explosion um, from, I believe it was in the 80s, completely made our waters toxic and all of the other iodine sources toxic. So if you're taking another iodine, the chances of that coming from a toxic source are extremely high. So that it, it makes it very difficult to get our iodine from a non-toxic source. Now we're at another risk of, you know, Russia is threatening another nuclear um, explosion. Who knows where we're at with this? However, Nuke No More does detox the body from non-ionizing and ionizing radiation. And that is from the smartphones, the smart meters, but it's also from nuclear explosions, from the x-rays, from the dentist office, all of that stuff. From surgery, Vicki asked about what to do after following her surgery that she just had. Acceleridine, Nuke No More, detox powder. These are a must. So you follow up the Nuke No More um, right after just your first dose of the Acceleridine every morning. You run through one to two bottles, and then you just need it about three days a week just for maintenance. Then you use the accelerated detox powder. That is going to soak up all the toxins you're kicking out from whether you're doing your liver flush or just constantly kicking out the toxins on a daily basis from the Acceleridine, the silver that you have, um, and the Nucnomore soaks them up and carries them through your colon safely and gently versus um, having your liver and your kidneys deal with them. Our liver and our kidneys need as much help as we can get nowadays just because of all that they are being bombarded with. The detox powder also helps with regularity and bloat and most gastrointestinal issues, um, pesticides, food poisoning. It's very, very helpful. Okay, so what else is important for mitochondrial health? Hydration. Your cells need to be hydrated. And I'm sure Heather's going to touch on hydration with the importance of what her, um, her devices do because your cells have to be hydrated to function. That is, our cells are electric. The, and the hydration, not just from the water, but from the potassium and sodium, there's potassium and sodium on the inside and the outside of the cell. And it's what you call the potassium sodium pump. And if they are not working together and there's not enough sodium and potassium in your cells, then your cells are flat. They're not gonna work. So you can do that through three different options. And I use all three. And one is accelerated ancient salt. It's scalar um, enhanced, just like the acceleridine and the Nucnomore and the accelerated detox powder. Um, it is the only salt that holds a strong negative charge with scalar technology that's used to enhance its frequency. And it pulls out positively charged toxins, parasites, and even undigested fats. So our body's only able to digest a certain amount of fats. And some of us are, are what we call fat malabsorbed because our, our fat um, breakdown system is not working properly. That's where a liver flush will help. That's also where getting rid of the oxalates and the sulfur vegetables and the wrong types of proteins like chicken and conventional beef uh, can help with those things are going to disrupt those detoxification pathways. Well, the accelerated salt is going to help with those undigested fats if we're compromised in our fat breakdown methods, if that makes sense. So also it helps with detoxification and the rehydration of the cells. So you want to do the salt on your tongue, on your food, um, or just in your water and your drinks. It will help actually rehydrate the cells. It has over 62 minerals in that salt. It's not like the regular table salt. 
You can also hydrate with the quintessential 0.9. It is composed of the exact balance of minerals as our own blood plasma. So it's like a bath for our plasma. Our body just loves it because it just soaks it in. It recognizes it as its own. So it sees over 80 minerals and electrolytes in that quintessential and our blood plasma just loves it. And it helps with the proliferation of that ATP and the mitochondria. The third option is the wild lights, which is a great electrolyte um, drink. I put it in my, my sports drink every time I go to work out. I love the taste, I love what it does. Um, so what else do you do for increasing ATP production and the mitochondria? Wild animal protein and B vitamins. Mercola just did an article on mitochondrial health. And one of the things that he, his guest, Dr. Frank Schallenberger talked about were B vitamins. And I think even some of us may need to um, supplement with a B vitamin complex, even if we're eating enough wild protein. Wild animal protein is the highest, most nutrient dense source of B vitamins. You're not getting your B vitamins from a vegan diet. You're just not. And, and we're gonna talk about some of the patches in a minute. You need those B vitamins and you also need some of the, the amino acids for the patches to work in the most optimal way. So wild animal protein, what does that look like? Um, deer, elk, bison is the easiest to get and probably the most um, cost-effective. Lamb is great, wild fish, salmon, wild arctic char is one of my favorites. What else? There's steelhead trout, um, sardines, and there's shellfish. Not really picky, just not the farm-raised proteins. Um, wild animal protein to get your B vitamins. That is going to significantly make a difference in your mitochondria. Lower our oxidative stress. Easier said than done. However, what is oxidative stress? This is what I love about the ketogenic or the low carb diet, I should say. When you are on a low carb diet, you're reducing oxidative stress in your body. So think of the gas guzzling suburban. You have all of this exhaust coming out, right? Our body's burning. That's what it's like on glucose. When we're burning sugar for energy is you can have all of this waste product coming out. That's oxidative stress. Okay, so we need all these antioxidants to come in and grab that oxidative stress to take care of it. Well, if we don't have all of that exhaust, as in when we're taking accelerated keto, keeps us in ketosis and we keep in ketosis with a low carb diet, regardless of how much fat you do or don't eat with that diet, you are producing a lot less oxidative stress we need a lot less antioxidants. So it's really interesting because everyone thinks, oh, well, if I'm, I can't do a ketogenic diet because I need vitamin C, you don't get your vitamins from your, these high animal, these animal proteins. Well, actually a lot of the vitamins that you think you're getting from vegetables are actually higher and more dense in that animal protein, but you need a lot less when you're not on all those carbs. So lowering oxidative stress is easy by just getting rid of the carbs, the processed foods and the sugar. So now we're gonna get into the patches. And um, oh, real quick, to touch on thyroid. If, if the accelerodyne is not getting your thyroid to that enhanced optimal state, what we're looking to, accelerated thyroid is coming Pray that manufacturing can get it in the run um, sooner rather than later. We've been waiting and supply chain issues have been an issue. Accelerated thyroid is going to be a combination of the Conchonara Google that I have and the thyroid GF. And both those supplements are great, but I'm trying to combine them to be more cost effective and then also get a much higher quality Conchonara and in the ingredients that are in the thyroid GF. But that is an option for those who are suffering from thyroiditis, Hashimoto's, hypothyroidism, and even hyperthyroidism. 
but we need a, a, an optimal thyroid. Okay, so talking about the patches, and Heather, you're welcome to pipe in anytime if you want to add anything, but we're going to talk about X39 first. Um, this was this pr produces or activates your body's own cell, stem cell production, resets over 4,000 genes. And in that sense, I mentioned in the beginning, our mitochondria declines with age. So if we're, we're resetting our, our age backwards, right? We're all trying to be our 20-year-old self. Our mitochondria and our ATP production is naturally going to increase. And with that, you're going to also see better sleep, which obviously has a, a positive impact on mitochondria and ATP, and lower stress, lower inflammation. Inflammation can be detrimental to mitochondria and ATP. So all of these things are working synergistically. And then with that, you've got the X49, which is based on the, um, the AHK copper peptide. It increases energy, um, recovery is better after exercise, increases stamina, improves cardiovascular health, focus, reduces belly fat. Who doesn't want that? Increase muscle tone and strength, lean body mass, bone density. Um, all of that is going to increase your mitochondrial health. The more muscle tissue you have on your body increases mitochondria and ATP production. Um, all of this is also going to help protect you from 5G and radiation, which is something that we talked about as well. We need to get rid of the um, heavy metals and the toxicity and the radiation. So just by preventing it to come in the body, um, that's also going to help with mitochondrial health. I'm going to talk about one more um, patch, and then Heather, you can touch on any anything that I'm missing on those three and then get into your fun, uh, fun uh, devices. But the energy enhancer, and if you've heard me before, you know this is my favorite. Um, it's there to increase energy and endurance, reduce fatigue and muscle soreness. Um, you can use it on all different parts of your body. I play around with it every day. I've played around with using uh, two sets on a day. Um, it drains dampness. So this is something that's super important to me because I suffer from edema, lymphatic issues, and that drain dampness and draining the phlegm. Um, in, in Chinese medicine, they call or they talk a lot about phlegm and phlegm is actually in your gallbladder related to liver, back to the liver health and the gallbladder. Um, it also can help with nausea, reflux, improve digestion, strengthen and tonify the organs, um, increase that chi, which is your life force or your, your energy throughout the body circulation. But with that, it's increasing ATP production in the mitochondria. So it is super important for that ATP. So just with all of that, you've got the, the accelerated keto, the accelerated We're detoxing from the heavy metals and radiation with the nuke no more than the detox powder. We're lowering our carbs. And then we add in these patches. The synergy between this, I don't think David Schmidt knows what the, the ATP is doing in our bodies, anyone that's doing all of this. So Heather, any um, anything that I've missed on the patches? I mean, you, you're you very comprehensive on everything, Sarah, but, but um, it's so funny because I think it was what Saturday I sent something out on mitochondria and Sarah was already working on a blog. And so she reached out to me today and she's like, I'm having, I'm, I'm having my coaching on mitochondria if you want to chime <laughs> in. And it's just so interesting to me, like when we talk about the aging process um, and some of the things that tend to slow down. And so we know that, you know, mitochondria um, as far as the production is slowing down, they become dysfunctional. And that is the root of aging and, and to some degree. I mean, also the stem cells are playing such a huge role. So when you're talking about the patches and we have one that we know increases ATP production via um, the, the energy enhancer, and then the other one that's increasing stem cell production via GHK copper peptide. I mean, just those two things to have those tools in your arsenal. And, you know, we're not talking $10,000 stem cell treatments. Um, 
I, I can't imagine life without it I'm at this point. And to be able to quantify and, and continuously see yourself like at a biological age, um, like reverse aging. I mean, that's what I'm so super into. And so I've invested a, a big amount of money in certain things that will quantify that. Like I'm able to see where my phase angle is, which is the integrity of our cell walls. Um, and with the, these small lifestyle changes that Sarah was talking about today, like I'm able to see that go up constantly when typically with age, it just goes down. So, um, and then also like our heart rate variability plays such a huge role. Um, I think I, I don't, I haven't shared this. I don't even know if I've shared it with Sarah, but for like the last six weeks, I've noticed because of my R ring, my heart rate variability in the toilet. And I'm like, what is going on? Cause I do all of this stuff. Um, and it was last week, all of a sudden I just had this crazy coughing fit. So I, I had been fatigued. I've seen my heart rate variability, um, just sinking for about four to six weeks, couldn't figure it out, but I wasn't stopping. So like with me, I would just keep going, 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 going. I still was doing my workouts all the time. I was just a little bit more tired. And then a week ago I started to cough and I could actually hear fluid in my lungs. And I was like, oh my God, this is probably walking pneumonia because I've had it two other times. I had it when I was 15 and I had it when I was 33. And I, there's just something about the fatigue and the sound when you're coughing that, you know, that's what it is. And I can tell you, like, I mean, last time I ended up in the hospital, it was before I had a scent. It was before I had, you know, these tools that we, we use every day and Sarah's supplements and my technologies that I use. I honestly took three days and I said, that's it. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to sleep if I need to. And within those three days, my heart rate variability after being down for six weeks was completely up high again. I feel better than ever. And it was just listening to my body, but I don't think, I mean, with the tools that we have, you know, who knows when people are exposed to these certain things and, you know, going to the hospital, I mean, I was coughing up blood when I was in my 30s because I had no idea what walking pneumonia actually you know was you don't even know you have it for like two to three weeks um so anyways that being said I just with everything that we're dealing with and being bombarded with it's so important to have things that affect you at a cellular level because we are only as healthy and as young as our cells are and you know with what we're being exposed with to Typically, your cells would just de-age and the mitochondria are going to be dysfunctioning. But if you can actually expose yourself to certain things, and that's lifestyle, it's, you know, what you're putting in your body, it's frequency based with the patches. Um, and then there's other technologies, you know, like our, our CVAC pods um, are one of the technologies that I started with. And it's actually been proven to induce mitochondrial biogenesis. So just by sitting in a pod, it's working on a cellular level to make your, your cells produce more mitochondria, which again, typically just go, you know, start becoming slower and slower with age. Um, also it's increasing stem cell production. Um, so just kind of finding those things that are working on the cellular level within different systems of the body. That's what we're all about. You know, when you expose yourself to different frequency-based, um, technologies in regards to like PEMF, I know Sarah has a PEMF that she loves. We have a PEMF that I love that increases blood flow and oxygenation. These are all working on that tiny cellular level to help support the body. And a lot of it has to do with immunity too. A lot of these mechanisms actually are responsible for your immune system and functioning. And so just to get that all um, buttoned down before the next variant of whatever comes out, I think it's important. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. Do you want to go through, um, there were a couple other, the light stem, does that help with ATP production as oh. well? Absolutely. So um, light therapy and the, the specific that one that we have is a class two medical device. It actually focuses on four wavelengths of light. So two are like what most of your commercial red light therapy devices are going to focus on, which is the outside. So it's the skin. It's increasing collagen, elastin, evening skin tone, which is great. We all love that. But that's not why I actually have this, um, the, the full body light stem bed that we have. It actually includes incorporates to other wavelengths of light that go down more to a tissue depth cellular level that induce more production of a molecule called nitric oxide. And if you look into what nitric oxide is responsible for, it plays a huge role in ATP production, so the energy. And again, typically with age, your nitric oxide production drops every single year. So by the time we're 50 years old, we're producing 15 to 25% of what we did in our prime. So by getting 
getting on the light stem bed once a week. So one 40 minute session, um, the effects of that full tank of nitric oxide last four to six days. So you basically have that full tank. Your body's now able to produce the ATP that it needs to get going. Um, that's been a huge tool for a lot of our clients as well. So um, there was something else I wanted to say about that, but kind of lost back, track. Back to the CVAC, um, do you have any measurement on what it, how much it's doing for the ATP and mitochondria and how many sessions? So CVAC specifically to have studies on that, it's one of our more unique technologies. So it's the one I started with and it's the one that is our most busy. We have two CVAC pods, but it's also the one with um, the least amount of studies specific to it. So with CVAC, I can correlate what CVAC's doing as far as high altitude and pressure changes, and then um, look at studies that are correlating the two. So we do have that. Um, I CVAC specifically, I've worked with a handful of stem cell doctors that have proven that people who use CVAC have 16 times greater endogenous stem cell production. Mm. There's all different kinds of stem cells and stem cells were made in different areas of the body. The, the X39 stem cell patches are working with making more pluripotent stem cells and then also activating dor dormant um, stem cells. And then the CVAC is that endogenous stem cell production. So they're very synergistic, just working within you know different systems and ways to make it happen but again like as you had said Sarah by the time we're 60 years old we don't have any stem cell production by the time we're 30 that's cut in half by the time we're uh, 40 you know we probably have about I don't know 30 percent production and then again 60 none so if we can reactivate and make more of these systems that typically just decline with age like I honestly think that we can live a lot longer than uh, people think awesome well, thanks, Heather. And if anyone needs um, Heather's information or want to go visit her, I will put her information and the Ascent um, contact information in the Telegram chat. I love that place. I'm there every week, as Heather knows. I don't know what else I would do with my time. I absolutely love it. So um, if anyone has any questions, uh, just put them in the chat. But this is just a reminder of why it's so important to, to hit your health from every direction. We're talking about physical, mental, and spiritual. And last week I had Melissa Kirk on talking about um, mental and spiritual and how our emotions are held in my, our organs, how we have to let go of that. You know, you've got resentment in the gallbladder, anger in, 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 the, in the liver, uh, fear in the kidneys, this is where we need to also lower that stress. Think about how we are giving our body the tools and the nutrients like the iodine, detoxing the body from the heavy metals that are blocking our signals from our, from our physical to our mental and spiritual bodies. You know, there's, there's a lot of these heavy metals, including graphene oxide, are meant to blunt that communication between our physical and our mental and our spiritual bodies. And we truly are optimizing our health when those three can be together as one. And you need all of these things. Are you gonna do everything perfect? No, you're not. And are you gonna fall off the rails? Yeah, but that's where the coaching comes in. That's where our group comes in. That's where joining the Ascent Diet Cleanse comes in so that you can have a group. You're constantly cleansing your body. You're constantly doing as much as you can. And when you are on a lower carb diet and you're using accelerated keto and the acceleridine and the silver, just even those three, you, you're going to feel more stable because your blood sugar is stable. Most people don't know that their sleep problems are because they're insulin resistant and their blood sugar is going up and down just with that. And did you know that radiation and toxicity can cause um, blood sugar jumps? A lot of people during this pandemic are saying, I don't understand. All of a sudden I'm gaining a whole bunch of weight. And I haven't changed anything. Well, you are stressed, which is increasing cortisol, which is increasing your blood sugar. You also are being um, confronted with a higher level of 5G and radiation and toxicity and your cells are having to work harder, mitochondria and ATP are going down, blood sugar goes up, fat storage increases. Your fat's job 
is to take all of those toxins, encapsulate them, and take them out of the blood. So that fat is actually a survival mechanism. When your body thinks it's under threat, it's going to store more fat. When it thinks it's okay and it's in the clear, it's able to drop that weight. It's not always about what you're putting in your mouth. So it's really important to see all of these things as a, um, as a, as a total package. So I, Paula was asking if uh, she's not local for Heather, would she have um, some other recommendations? So what I would recommend Paula is to go on the website for Ascent and look up some of her technologies and then Google the location nearest you. Um, I will tell you her Balancer Pro 4 lymphatic is top. You want that one. I was in North Carolina and I Googled this place and they had a lymphatic drainage place. <laughs> and I came home and I literally thought they had broken my arm. It was not a good place to go. It was not a good um, system to use. So you are getting the best of the best with Heather. And I definitely would recommend what she has at other places. But Heather, did you want to say something? Yeah, and if you have any questions, any of you, just definitely feel free to reach out to me and I will be happy to answer them. We're actually a distributor of every technology that we have here. The majority of them, people are coming here because they're very expensive, but there are some that you can you know, use at home. Um, obviously the patches through Sarah are something that a lot of our clients do, but there's a few others too. So if you have any questions, just please reach out. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Yeah, the light stem, I know not many people are going to put the full bed in their house, but there are just the light panels that you can do, um, and those are great too. So anyways, um, if you have any friends or family interested or needing my help with the Ascent Diet Cleanse, we, it goes on sale tomorrow, and it starts um, next Monday for March. So I highly um, encourage you guys to join, maybe even just join for the liver flush part, and let me know if you want to be a part of that group um, on Telegram for the March Telegram Ascent Diet Cleanse. And if you have any other questions, just put them in the Telegram chat and you're feel free to share this with any of your friends or family to show them um, what they're going to learn and how they can help their bodies. Because a lot of people think that they don't have the willpower to do a cleanse or a diet. That's not what this is. As most of you know, once you are on that accelerated keto, the diet part, and it's just a no brainer. You don't crave that sugar and carbs and you are still able to eat some, but I tell you how to do it strategically. So have a great Monday. I love you all and prayers to our friends in the Ukraine. I just have to say that I've got some personal friends out there and please keep praying because it is um, a lot worse than what the news is telling you. Alrighty, guys. Thanks, Love Sarah. you. Love you. Bye. Bye.